from keeping his son a secret to getting himself blocked by a TikToker. There always seems to be a bit of an issue going on with Drake. Drake likes to maintain an air of mystery and keep his fans on their toes. And now he has found himself in a clash with Bobby Altov. Like his falling out with Ice Spice, the friendship between Drake and Bobby Altoff has come to an unexpected end, and Drake seems to be taking the hit. Keep watching till the end of this video to see Drake reacts to Bobby Altoff. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Drake reacts to Bobby Altoff. Fans noticed that Drake and Bobby Altoff were no longer following each other on Instagram, which led to the discovery that the interview was nowhere to be found on the Really Good Podcast page. Although short clips from the interview still exist, the actual video is already gone from Altoff's YouTube channel. It's unclear if the two had an actual falling out, or if this is part of a publicity stunt for more content in the pipeline. However, Bobby Altoff pulled up to Drake's It's All in a Blur tour in Los Angeles at the Kia Forum over the weekend, and she posted a clip looking annoyed while everyone sang along to Drake's song, Sicko Mode. Really in my element here at this guy's concert, she captioned the post on Instagram. One fan speculated that Drake and Bobby unfollowing and blocking each other had something to do with Bobby's reaction to seeing Drake in concert. The fan tweeted, Bobby acting weird at Drake's concert is weird. You know, light skin wasn't going to take it well. Another fan also tweeted saying, Everyone thinks it's Drake, when in reality I think it was Bobby's husband who probably got salty and made her block him and repost him on her Instagram. However, Drake made no comments or posts about the incident and did not explain why he unfollowed and blocked Altoff on all his social media platforms. During an interview with The Cosmopolitan, Bobby Altoff revealed how her podcast, The Really Good Podcast, blew up and she was able to schedule Drake after only launching in April. Bobby recalled making a TikTok video saying she would give $300 to anyone who could connect her with celebrities. Her first celebrity guest was actor Rick Glassman. Then she interviewed comedian Funny Marco. Bobby noticed that Drake liked the clips of her interview with Marco and followed her on Instagram. I decided to just go for it and shoot my shot. I DM'd Drake and asked if he wanted to be on my podcast and he said yes, Bobby Altoff recalled. He sent me his touring schedule and I knew that I needed to make it happen fast, so my friend and I flew to Memphis two days after the original DM was sent to record the episode. I said, when are you going to come on my podcast? And he just was he said, game right yeah, away. Yeah, he was ready to do it. I flew out there like I think wow. three days later. Bobby's interview with Drake currently has over 10 million views on YouTube. Since its upload, she has been praised for her deadpan humor. There's no prep and that's the fun of it, she explained when asked about her interview preparation. I think that's why celebrities are down to do it. They know it's a character and we just wing it. It's not a real interview. I'm not trying to get hard-hitting information about you. I'm not trying to uncover anything. It's just a conversation. It's really a parody of a good interview. But recently, she has been the subject of industry plant accusations, claiming she has money and familial connections to the entertainment world based on her recent success. However, she said that couldn't be further from the truth. I am not. I think that's the funniest thing, and it's really fun to lean into," she explained. While Bobby has secured an impressive roster of interviews, she dreams of interviewing another rapper on The Really Good Podcast. I love Post Malone, she revealed. I would love to interview him. I saw him in a Buffalo Wild Wings back in the day. He just walked in with his entourage, and I remember thinking, oh my god, he's so normal. Why is he walking to Buffalo Wild Wings? I just love him. Rappers react to Drake and Bobby Altoff blocking each other. In the already deleted interview between Drake and Bobby Altoff, Drake and Bobby were having a conversation about Tyga, and apparently the conversation seemed very awkward. Drake tried to put Bobby on to Tyga after the host was clueless about who he was or what type of music he sang. What's your favorite Tyga song? Drake asked in the video clip, and she replied with a question asking, is he married to Kylie Jenner? Is that the guy that dated her? Drake then laughed hilariously, replying to her question, 
Yeah, maybe before the iPhone or something. That's such ancient gossip. Bobby Altoff, still not knowing who Tyga is, proceeds to ask. He raps, he sings. Yeah, what's, his, what's your favorite Tyga I don't, song? I don't know who that is. Drake then plays Tyga's 2011 breakout single, Rack City, and sings along to the chorus. Bitch, rack, rack, city, bitch. 20s on the titties, bitch. Still clueless, Bobby appears unimpressed by the track and reaches over and pauses the song, much to Drake's displeasure. Bobby recently had an interview with Tyga and posted a video on her Instagram where the two were seen talking at a zoo, which she captioned, I finally learned who at Tyga was. New episode of The Really Good Podcast coming Thursday. In the video posted on her YouTube channel on Friday, Bobby Altop tried teasing Tyga into talking about Drake. Bobby started asking, how do you know Drake? Tyga then responded to her question saying, um, we were assigned to the same label. Bobby Altop then asks if they're assigned to the same label right now, and Tyga responds saying, not anymore. We were, though, through Lil Wayne's Young Money Cash Money label. Bobby Altoff then asked Tyga how he saw the interview between her and Drake, asking if Drake had told him about the interview. She asked, how did you see it? Did he tell you before that post came out, or did you just see it? Tyga then responded saying, nah, I just seen it. I just seen it on Instagram. It was funny because I seen your page. You did uh, an interview with Funny Marco. I just thought it was hilarious and I followed you from there. Bobby Altoff then pushed further, replying to Tyga, No, you didn't. You didn't see it on Instagram. You were like, oh, now if Drake will do it, then I guess I will be on, and he wasn't cool enough before. I feel like you didn't. I think I did. Pretty sure no. I did. But you were like, oh, now if Drake will do it, then I guess I will be on. But I wasn't cool enough before. Tyga noticed she was trying to get a comment out of him and went silent for a few minutes without saying anything. Bobby Altoff's other controversial interviews Bobby Altoff followed up her headline-generating Drake interview with a new episode of The Really Good Podcast featuring Drake's friend and frequent collaborator Lil Yachty. The resulting hour-long interview was shot after Drake's recently released episode, which itself was mentioned in Bobby and Boat's extended back and forth. About 14 minutes into the discussion, Altoff asked Yachty about his best friend. Specifically, she asked him to reveal how deep their conversations typically go. Very deep like center of the earth, Lil Yachty replied. She then proceeded to ask if Drake was his best friend in the world, or if there were others before him. Lil Yachty then replied to her question saying, I wouldn't say in the world, but he's definitely like top three. Deeper into the conversation, the topic of Drake's wealth was brought up when Lil Yachty noted that Drake had paid for the flight in connection with their interview. He has 50 times more money than me. What are you talking about? I tell him that all the time. He buys my plane tickets. It has 50 times more money than me. What are you talking about? Do you think the fallout is all a publicity stunt for Bobby Altoff? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments section below.